Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a video for Lavinia um, and I'm going to make a Christmas card using the Lavinia sprays and stamps and inks. Let's just uh, have a blast and dive in and make a fun card. So what I'm going to be using is the product you see here on my work service except for my mouse. I won't be needing that mouse. Um, <laughs> I'm using uh, Versafine Nocturne to stamp in. Uh, I've got all sorts of mica sprays that I'm going to be using. I've got some different stamps that I think I might be using, but yeah, uh, I'm still on the fence, so I might grab some bits and bobs while I'm going along. This is uh, some of the Lavinia masking paper that I will be using. And I've got two papers of the uh, watercolor paper from Lavinia as well. So I'm going to be using those. Um, so let's get something that I can make a mess on. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's make a background. And what I'm going to be using is, I'm going to be using the Mist Spray Blue Moon. Um, I've got some tumbled glass Distress Spray Stay. And I've got the beautiful Mica Spray in Amber Green. So it's not going to be your traditional uh, Christmas colors, but I'm going to spray these on. And combine that with a bit of the tumbled glass. I'm going to spray them with water. And then I've got another piece of card here that I'm going to press on there. I'm going to line that up and press it on there. Now this will make my background messy, but I don't care. Just giving that ink time to really sink into the paper. And then I'm going to peel that off. Look at that. Beautiful background. I'm going to be using this one, I think. So I'll put this one to the side and use that one for another project. Next, I will come in with my trimmer and trim this panel to size. I want this to be 10 centimeters. So I will just trim off a tiny bit from both sides. Now I will take olive take off the majority and I will just darken up the edge here at the bottom. I want that to be ever so slightly darker. Just go around the edge. Now I'm using the same green to go around the edge here to darken these edges. Next I'm coming in with graphite. I'm just going to take off the majority of my brush and go around the edge again, darkening this up. Now it's time to decide where I want my baubles to go. So I've got a piece of masking paper that I've trimmed out. Now trying to work out where I want that first bauble to be. That's going to be quite close. Right here, I think. Just put that there. Press that down. Then I'm coming in with Blue Lagoon. Taking off the majority of that color. And just coloring in. And let me just put a piece of masking tape right there so I don't mess that up because that would be typical me and I'm just going around giving that a bit more color light pressure keeping the center lighter and just building up that color around the edge. Then I can pick up the corner and have a look. It's coming together nicely as you can see, but I do want it to have a tiny bit more depth to it. So 
I'm coming in with Della Blue on a smaller brush. This is the number seven brush. I'm just going to fairly repeat myself, but just not going in that much. Next, I'm coming in with my Micron. And I'm just going to draw around here a line following the circle of my mask. Then I'm going to peel this off. And then we have our bauble. But I'm not going to peel this off completely because it's time to do some stamping. And I'm going to leave that masking paper on for now. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this uh, fun little stamp called Flip. And I'm going to stamp Flip into my bauble. It's going to be right there towards the top. And I'm going to stamp him using my Versafine Claire Nocturne. Inking him up. I'm just placing this down so I don't miss stamp there. Stamp him in there. Now, giving this ink some time to really sink in there. It's a silhouette stamp, so that might take uh, some doing. Um, I can always fix it if it's not completely covered, so I'm not too worried about that. But there we go. Beautiful. Now I've got this little holly leaves here that I want to use as well what I said. Once I get going, I get these ideas. just want these to come in from the bottom. There we go. That's it. So that's the first bauble. Well, not done, but we're getting places. Peeling this off. And there's the first bauble. Now I'm going to do another one. That's going to be right here covering up my the bottom and do the same again so first with Della no is it Della Blue? Blue Lagoon come in and give this some color and then coming in with the Della Blue I'm going to darken up the edge a bit. I'm going to come in with flip again and stamp him again. There we go. I'm just going to take my micron and fill in some of these areas that have not completely transferred. Now I've got the micron out, so I might as well make my circle peel this off this can go away then I will come in with my little foliage there let me have a look that's fun next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me put these to the side for a second I'm going to coming from the middle well roughly uh, and I'm just gonna draw a line coming up like that and I will do the same here but of course this is going behind this one Just some scribbly lines going up. Then I will just draw.
draw on these, how do you call that, the crowns or the, I always call them thingamabobblies, but I'm not sure what the real name is. So I'm going to put some shadow on and I'm going to use deep indigo for that. Um, and I will just put that right here at the bottom of my bauble. Just on one side to give them some dimension. Taking my little brush, watercolor brush, and just wash that out. Next, I'm taking my pastel pencil. Um, in yellow, I'm just going to color in this lantern. There we go. And I will just intensify that shadow that's on here ever so slightly. Next, I'm going to take Golden Temple, which is a mica mist uh, spray, and I'm just going to shake it up and spray a little bit on my mat. And take that with my watercolor brush. I'm going to use that to color in his wings to give that a bit of shine and sparkle and also to bring some gold in. These dry so nice and sparkly. I might as well just go over this. Hello with that. That was just a brainwave, but I like it. So next I'm coming in with my embossing ink and the little stars, stars mini, that is. I'm just going to stamp that randomly on the card. And then I've got, this is fun, snowflake tinsel, an embossing powder. I will just put that on there. I'm just going to put some embossing powder there where I think I put them because you can hardly see it. Then I'm going to take my brush, just an old scrappy brush. And I'm just going to wipe off there where I don't want it don't want it to be in the baubles. All the axis is gone and I will just heat set this. Okay, that's nice. That's really bringing the snowy and sparkly bit out. Um, next, I'm going to take my acrylic bright white spray and I'm just going to splatter on here a bit. Taking my brush, picking that up and just using that to splatter. Now I just want to intensify that white splatter a bit because this is just giving a white haze. It's beautiful, but I want it a bit more. So I'm just using my Posca to splatter a bit more. So next I'm just gonna use my Posca pen. I'm just gonna So next I'm coming in with my Posca pen. And I'm going to create a bit of snow on the bauble and on the thingy here. Creating the illusion that there's snow on there. Using my white gel pen, 
I'm just gonna give him a bit of a white highlight. Like that. This is becoming really a nice wintry scene. Now just using my white stickles, my diamond stickles, I will come in and draw a bit of a line just from here. Following that thread. To, just to give it some more sparkle and a tiny bit here as well on top of the baubles. I think that is enough. Now, now I want to make a black border. So I'm just taking my Sharpie and very carefully, not to ruin it, go around the perimeter of the card, giving that a little black edge. Next, I'm stamping my sentiment. Have a very Merry Christmas. Just inking that up. I'm just gonna st stamp that here on the top of my paper because I want to trim that out. So I'm just gonna put that there. Don't press too hard because this uh, is a very fine font. I just smudged it a bit. I even pressed too hard. By saying it, don't press too hard. I did that. It's really not necessary. They stand beautiful. So I'm just gonna there, perfect, very nice and delicate. You see the difference? Press too hard and normal. So I've got my sentiment ready and that is uh, also nicely outlined in black. And I'm gonna put that right on here at the bottom. So I'm just, I'm not gonna give it any layers. I'm just gonna take my glue and put that on there, just like so. And then it's time to put the, this to a card base. And again, I'm just using my glue for that. So my card panel is here, my card base is here. And I'm just gonna put this right on there. Now, because I've got some glue, it gives me some wiggle time, which is good because I need that wiggle time to get it on there straight. There we go. And there we have it. Um, I love this. It's different, different than your traditional Christmas card, but um, I just really like the this bobbly idea. It really pops off the card. It so if you like it too, please give this video a thumbs up and um, consider to subscribe to my channel. That would make my day. Thank you for watching this one and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.